No Mo May. Have any of you heard of this No Mo May? Do you want your yard to look like this? Do you want your property to go crazy? No, you don't. All right, look. Enough of the nonsense, the no mo may stuff. I'm going to show you how you, as a homeowner, can still have your environmental health and help the environment. And us that are the upkeepers of your properties won't have to suffer cutting grass June 1st that is up to our necks all right i'm gonna help everybody out today in this video stick around and you'll find out i got the answer to this no mo may stuff <laughs> why am i making this video right now well obviously it's may 2nd and i've had a few community members here throw in some comments asking how to address this with your clients I'm going to talk to y'all while we watch this footage. You don't want this in your yard. No. I know what you need, and it's going to help the environment nine months out of the year. Let's do this video, guys. All right, homeowners. I've got the answer and solution for you here in a couple minutes through the video. Right now, I'm gonna to talk to all the community members here that are business owners and our guys that are out here doing the work and kind of wondering how to address this whole four weeks of not mowing grass and still survive this whole experience. Because we're here to make our clients, you, the customers, happy. And I have an easy solution that all of us contractors can make extra money helping out all of our clients that want to help out the environment. Pretty simple. It's a win-win for everybody involved. Everyone here will be able to mow grass for four weeks during May. You'll have your grass mowed during May, so your property won't look like this. And in the long run, you're going to see that the solution I have is a hundred times better in a whole bigger scheme picture of life especially right now they're calling for uh, worldwide famines bottlenecked in the shipping industry supposedly we're not gonna have any food to eat soon I'm gonna answer all this stuff the solutions are easy someone's got to do some hard work to get all accomplished though the stuff just doesn't happen on its own just like the chaos that we're in it didn't happen all on its own hmm we'll have to sit and think and see how this uh, world plays out in the next couple of years that being said you better start right now plan and well yeah I'm going to talk about that stuff I'm not going to ruin it right now ha <laughs> ha Poison ivy all in that area. So they'll directional shoot the weed eater this way so it doesn't get on them. So ask yourself this do you really want to grab the chainsaw after four weeks of no mo may? Or do you want to sit here and listen to what I got to tell you that's going to help the environment for the next 9, 10, 11 months? And uh, you won't put your long guys through this kind of stuff, all right? And they won't have to charge you for a six-hour visit, all right? If we don't mow your yard for four weeks, I'm charging you six visits worth of cuts to get that thing cleaned up, guaranteed. Everybody else should also because I have the answers. Let's go up here and talk about it. Yeah. First, I'm gonna show you poison ivy. It grows on a vine, nice and shiny when it's brand new. And it's got the three leaves with the jagged edges on it. There it is, stay away from it. Here's a quick tip. When you do get into poison ivy, 
always, always have rubbing alcohol in your truck. Get that rubbing alcohol, squeeze you all over your legs, your arms, whatever got into it, wipe it off, evaporates those harsh, nasty oils that are in that poison ivy vine leaves. All right, my tip of the day, I'm gonna go put some on my legs right now. I was already walking through it before I saw it. So we'll continue on. Quick little tip, poison ivy, rubbing alcohol. Have it in your truck. Now you don't have to take my advice, but uh, don't come crying to me in the comments when you're all blistered and swelled up from poison ivy. <laughs> So now, that that's taken care of, I have an area down there and an area up here. Both of these areas, perfect place for raised garden beds or down below, a fenced in garden area. Makes more sense to me if I plant a garden this year and not do the no mo may. I'm gonna benefit the earth, the planet, the bees, the butterflies, everything for nine, 10 months. And then in the off season, my plant, my compost will rejuvenate the soil as well. Think about that, raised beds, gardens. This is the year you need to start planting because of all the chaos in the rest of the world. Make sure your bubble is taken care of eating healthy food. Hey, no mo may? Come on, really? Raised beds, garden areas, vegetables for your family to eat? That's the answer. Mother's Day is coming up. Two years ago, this is what I did for the mother of our household, my soulmate. Went and spent a couple hundred dollars, six tons of compost, a couple boards, and a whole lot of beautiful plants. Guys, if your clients can't get out here and do it themselves, sell them this project right here. Sell them a lifelong change of good habits of food. It's a win-win, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Y'all be good. Love each other. Always be kind. Peace.